So, so far we have covered linear units, square units. Let's try some cubic measure and make it a little more compound. Let's throw a, a, a speed or a rate factor in there. Solar thermal collectors, solar domestic hot water collectors, especially if they're made in Europe, their test flow rate typically is measured in mLs per second, milliliters per second. How in this country are we going to equate that to a pump rating, which we need to have the right size pump to give us the right flow rate for a collector system. So we need to convert that milliliters per second into gallons per minute, GPM. So I'm going to give you one more unit conversion equivalency to memorize. And that is one liter equals 0.22 gallons. With that one, we can figure the whole thing out. One liter equals 0.22 gallons. Now, before we go do this conversion problem, let's talk a little bit about that metric volumetric measure. What is a liter? A liter is volume-wise a cube that is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. 10 times 10 times 10 is a thousand. So one liter is a thousand cubic centimeters. That means since there is a thousand milliliters in a liter, a milliliter and a cubic centimeter are the same thing. So just thought I'd throw that one in there for enrichment. So now that we understand what a liter is, and we know that we have a, an equivalency between one liter and 0.22 gallons, let's assume we've got a pretty good size solar domestic hot water collector, and it has a flow rate of 100 mLs per second, 100 milliliters per second, and we want to know how many gallons per minute is that flow rate. We start with what we have. We have 100 mLs per second. So we start with our 100 milliliters per second. 100 milliliters per second. Now our equivalency is between liters and gallons. So we need to change our milliliters to liters. So here we have milliliters on the top. To cancel we have to have milliliters on the bottom. So this will allow us to cancel that unit. And we know that a thousand milliliters equals one liter. A liter is a thousand milliliters. Anything divided by itself equals one. That is one. Multiplying that times one isn't going to change it. Following our rules of unit conversion. Now, we have a unit conversion equivalency we've just memorized, and that is that one liter equals 0.22 gallons. Liters on the top, I have to put liters on the bottom. So I've got 0.22 liters equals one gallon. So I'm going to have my mLs are going to cancel my mLs, my liters are going to cancel my liters, and I end up with gallons per second. Oh, but I wanted gallons per minute. So now I need to convert my seconds to minutes. I have seconds on the bottom to get rid of the seconds. I need to put seconds on the top over here. And I know that 60 seconds is the same thing as one minute. So now my seconds cancels my seconds and I have my units that are left are gallons per minute. Now all I have to do is grab my calculator, multiply all the way through across the top, divide through across the bottom, and we will know how many gallons per minute of flow rate this is. So I'm going to start with 100 times 1 times 1 times 60, then divided by 1,000, Divided by 0.22, divided by 1, equals, and I end up with 27.27 .27 gallons per minute. So that 100 milliliters per second gives me 27.27 GPM, gallons per minute. There you have it, folks.
Pretty simple if you take this step by step, follow the three rules that I gave you at the beginning of this, and just memorize two additional unit conversion factors. Remember that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, one liter equals 0.22 gallons. With those two, we have done all these different types of unit conversions that relate to the solar and the renewable energy technology field using very basic, simple math skills. Good luck.